I often get asked, what happens after I sign the purchase agreement at the notary? In this video, I'm going to explain step by step on what happens, what notary does, what you need to do, and what else is happening in the background. Hi, my name is Ajay, and in this channel, I'm going to guide you on how to buy a house here in Germany. Now, first things first, once you've signed the purchase agreement at the notary, it's time to celebrate. Take the time reminiscing on what you've already achieved, bought a property in Germany. Now, what does the notary do after that? After you've signed the purchase agreement, he stamps it, which means notarizes it, and sends the copy of the notarized purchase agreement to respective parties which are mentioned in the purchase agreement. Maybe the seller, the buyer, the income tax office, the local surveyors, etc. Second, the notary applies for notice of transfer of title in German Auflassungsformat. This is being done at the court. What does that mean? It means that the notary tells the court that you've just signed a purchase agreement and that your name should be put into, uh, into the land register as the next owner of the property. This is in order to block the seller from selling the property once again. Third, the notary also checks the right to purchase by the city. All cities have a first mover's right, which is they'll be asked whether that plot, which is being sold right now, is of interest to the city. Um, for example, if they want to build a new road or a highway or a new hospital or extend the current hospital with some sparking, parking space. So if the city sees greater need uh, for the community um, to have your plot and buy the plot instead of you, then they'll uh, say, we want, we are interested, please do not sell to the buyer, please sell it to us at the current purchase price. Now this happens in very, very rare cases. In most of the cases, so 99.9% .9 of the cases, the city waves off that right and says, look, we only want 20 or 30 euros of fees because we checked the uh, application and we are waiving our right to buy. The city then sends a refusal letter to the notary which you might or might not get in copy. Fourth, Löschungsbewilligung, so cancellation permits. The property might have been given as a collateral by the seller to his bank. The notary checks with the seller's bank on the open amount as well as gets the consent of getting that line deleted from within the land registry. Once that amount has been settled by the buyer, the, land, the, the line will be deleted. And that consent is being sent by the bank to the notary. Fifth, the notary checks whether others have a right to buy the property. For example, children or ex-partners if uh, the seller is divorced. Um, in that settlement agreement, um, there might be something like, uh, if I ever sell the house, you uh, have the right to buy the property at amount X minus 10%, for example. Already seen those things, so these things can happen. And the ex-wife or ex-partner then needs to say, I do not want to have that. Uh, I don't want to um, buy the property. You please go ahead. And that waiver is being sent to the notary and then also um, either sent to you in copy um, or at least given to you as an information that um, the ex-partner or whoever had the right um, in the land register to buy the property is waving off his or her right. Sixth, notary also informs the property management in case a property has a property management. So in, uh, in the cases of uh, being an apartment, um, by law there needs to be um, a homeowners association, Wohnungseigentümer, Gemeinschaft. In that case, the property manager is informed that there is a new um, owner um, or the property is being sold and there's a new owner so that the property management can get in contact with you to um, tell you per perhaps on, on, uh, on proceedings, on uh, what, um, where to send the um, house guilt to, right? So these things the property manager um, has to be informed in that case. Seventh, the notary, once he collected all those documents, all those waivers from banks and third parties, um, he sends you a due date notification in German Fälligkeitsmitteilung. 
In that letter, he, send, he sell, tells you that all the prerequisites um, which have been mentioned in the contract and the purchase agreement have been met. And now you as a buyer may please pay the seller. The notary will also give you an indication on which kind of amount you would need to settle for the old owner's um, bank loan. Um, and the delta between the purchase price and that settlement of, of the seller's old loan, the delta will then be sent to the seller's account. Once you transfer the money to the seller, he will then acknowledge the receipt of the payment to the notary, either by mail or by fax or by post or whatever uh, is mentioned in the purchase agreement. Um, and then the notary will ask the court, that's the eighth point, the notary will ask the court and to update the land register for you to be named the current owner of the property, as all points in the purchase agreement have been adhered to. Ninth, if aligned in the contract in that way, then you may now take possession of the property. So once you've paid, you may take possession of the property. Either you uh, may move in or you just um, get the rent from that day onwards. And once you take possession, please do this in a formalized manner. Check on meter readings, uh, note them down, uh, meter number, meter readings uh, for water, electricity, um, heating, etc. So that that um, both parties will sign, seller and buyer will sign that, um, that piece of paper, that formalized handover, um, so that that paper can be used and forwarded to um, the water company, water supply company, electricity company, etc., so that they can, they know where to send the bills to. Tenth, the land transfer tax. You will, at some point in time, uh, receive land transfer tax invoice from the local tax authority, the Finanza. Only if you pay that, will the court update the land register for you to be the rightful owner of the property. So until then, that, that time, you'll not be uh, named the next or the, the current owner. There'll be uh, the, the court will be waiting for the financier, for the income tax office to say, yes, he's, uh, uh, he's paid the um, invoice uh, for the um, land transfer tax. Please update the land register now. 11th, and now uh, you'll be receiving the updated land register with your name as the current owner. The transfer of title, which we mentioned earlier, um, that line will be deleted. So the land register either struck out or underlined. Um, you'll see that um, mentioned the land register and then you will be named the current owner. Twelfth, the property insurance. Once you have been named the current owner, um, you will have four weeks time to change your property insurance. One good for the show. If you want, uh, you can take over the premiums as well as the coverage of the uh, previous owner, um, or you can switch now um, to a new provider. That's totally up to you. This will conclude all the steps, uh, what happens after uh, you sign the purchase agreement at the notary. If you've got any questions, please post them in the comments below so that I can either answer them in the comments or make a new video uh, to make you understand what's happening uh, during the purchase process of a new property here in Germany.